So, but let's talk about ways to like, that we would adjust in a game situation. And then we'll talk about definitely some ways that we could better prepare for game situations. Like, so, you know, let's say that game is kind of just not going in our favor, you know, um, let's say as a hitter, you know, a couple strikeouts or as a pitcher, you know, you're getting hit. What are some things you could do actually in the moment to make some good adjustments? Uh, well, first of all, in-game stuff is reactive. So these are things that will most likely work, but in order to get better at games in general, you're going to need to practice in practice and beforehand. It's been a little asterisk. Uh, but in games, the main thing that I found helps the most is making sure you have perspective. So in that moment, I was that athlete. Everything seemed so dramatic. I, I explained this to one of my coworkers once who had no problems with mental game games. She was super confident. I was like, in that moment when you make a mistake, it's so overwhelming and all-encompassing. It's like you just kicked a puppy. Like, whoa. Like, <sighs> no one wants that. It, like, hurts your heartstrings. Like, I hope that evoked a negative reaction in you <laughs> right now. Because that's... But that's the point. Is like, it seems that dramatic in the moment. You need to have your way of stepping back. Even if it's just one step. So... In the moment uh, you're on defense, you just made an error, quite literally step away from your position for a second. Even if it's just a few feet, walk away. If you're an outfielder, walk a few steps toward the fence. If you're a pitcher, just walk to the back of the circle. And then the next thing you can do is give yourself a focal point. So Ken Revisa talks about this a lot, another great book, Heads of Baseball and now Heads of Baseball too. Fantastic resources. <laughs> I will always Guys, be better oh, so yeah. good stuff. Write those down. Um, but he likes to say, find a focal point that you can rely on that is just a visual reminder of you've got this. So, like, you can look at the foul pole. That's um, Evan Longoria does that. I just shot a video of him. <laughs> so I remember that one. But then he just looks at the foul pole and says, I've got this. So first thing, perspective then have a focal point, and the third thing is breathe. Breathing is the number one thing. Ask any sports psychologist, like, when they ref ask their athletes, like, what do you remember that I taught you? It's always breath. On all my evals, it was always, like, oh, like, being able to take a deep breath and calm myself. It's super simple, but so effective. So making sure you know how to take a correct breath, so diaphragm breath, breathing from the belly, automatically calms you down, gets more oxygen to your mind and your muscles, and just in that moment can give you the clarity to be like, okay, I'm fine. So just those three things, quick. Make make sure you have the perspective enough to notice that, okay, I'm, things are going out of control, I need to step out. Have that focal point, and then breathe. 